nigga Patrick Ewing. This is Shaheen Reed on StrictlyHipHop.com. I'm with Jahida, the beautiful, the intelligent. She's hipped out, hip hop out, man. StrictlyHipHop.com. Here we go. Don't you open up that window? Don't you let out that antidote? Popping pills is all we know. To the cash money era now, yeah. cash money when it came through, it was like a tornado, it was a new wave yeah. of music, you know what I'm saying? But the question is, when you think of cash money in their legacy, despite all the negativity, I mean, Wayne leaving the label, other artists leaving the label, people publicly dissing the label, like all of the negativity that cash money underwent. When you think of the legacy, does the bad outweigh the good? Nah, I think the good way outweighs the bad. I Definitely. think you know, um. All dynasties come to an end eventually. You know what I'm saying? Like Rockefeller Records broke up. You know, Bad Boy for one reason or another. You know, I mean, I know Puff is still keeping Bad Boy going, but you know, the Bad Boy, the, the original, the, the roster you know, yeah. that we love with Biggie, Total Mace, Craig Mack, Faith Evans, Evans, 112, Black Rob. You know, that disbanded. Um, Death Row disbanded. Um, when you, you look know, at we history, saw a bunch ruthless of records. You know, we, we it, it always it always it, you know it always comes to an end. You know the dynasties always come to an end. But you know we just enjoy it, and you know. Birdman and Slim and, and Wayne and all of those guys, they had a hell of a, a of a run, man. Like hell almost of a run. almost twenty years of, of keeping it together. It's difficult to keep it together. And um, you know, I think when we look back at it, we're gonna look at Cash Money is obviously one of the greatest labels of of all time, not just in hip hop but just in music period. Mm -hmm. And it's a it's a um you know, it's 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 a it's an American success story. Um, you know, a guy or a couple of guys that come from the soot and you know they get their friends and and they get together and they make hundreds of millions of dollars and hmm. you know. Um, That's exactly what they you, did. Would you like to? Would you like it to see see it end on a on a on a higher note? I mean, of, of no, course. No, no, I definitely was. You know, of course, but um, you know. Just, just as a whole, I, I think you know, it's no denying the hits that Cash Money made. It's, it's, it's no denying or what they did to the game. Period. Yeah. The artists, you know, and yeah, Wayne and what he, the Young Money and what he. They changed came about. the game. They yeah, changed so like the game. Said, Wayne is Wayne is, you know, he 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 slipped into that top ten of greatest MCs of all time. Sure you did. You know, you gotta put Weezy in there. You know, we, we we've had our top ten and we've had our Mount Rushmore, but if you look at what Wayne has done in the totality of his career, he, you got to put him in that top ten. You have to. And, you know, in honor of your rapper response that you sh used to do for Life and Times, I have one for you. Okay, let's do it. You ready? Okay. Who was the most entertaining guest you interviewed? On on Life and Times, period. Or just period. Um, shoot, damn, I'm supposed to be rapid, rapid fire, right? Um, Ross. Ross? Yeah, Rick Ross, man. Um, just going out with him and Khaled and, um, cruising through the Miami streets. You never know what you'll see and you never know who'll come by his mansion and, you know, we just we just have a good time, man. He's he's a Ross is a very funny guy too. People don't understand that he's a he's a funny guy. Mm -hmm. So definitely Ross. Um Snoop though too. Snoop Dogg. I, I, I hung out with Snoop around Christmas time. I went to his crib and he had all the Christmas lights and everything. And this one his kids were still small and we wound up doing like a four hour interview at his crib. This was for the cover of the sauce one year, so Wow. Stand out. Classic. Did you smoke with him? I don't smoke. <laughs> I know he was smoking like a chimney. I, the whole I time. don't smoke, but if if I did, I, I think I would have had the finest of materials from <laughs> you know, from Snoop to Red and Math to, you know, a, a lot of guys, man. That you hung around with. Patrick Ewing, Patrick Ewing, yeah we got it cheap, nigga, Patrick Ewing. 
Yeah, it's always been in the back of my mind. You know, mm-hmm. uh, you know, when you travel so much uh, and you see a, a wide range of people and, and, and you see how everybody, you know, enjoys music the way that you do.